Hi Harry Potter fans, I'm Miranda, an 8th grader living in Florida. I was 4 years old when I first went to London, but that was before I was a Harry Potter fan. Now that I've read all the books and watched all the movies, it was my dream to go back to London. London is full of Harry Potter stores and filming locations. So come with me to London. Let's start off with this very important 170 year old building. This is where Harry met the Weasleys and first went through platform nine and three quarters to board the train that goes to Hogwarts. Every year on September 1st, British witches and wizards board the train to Hogwarts. Before I go to platform nine and three quarters and go through the wall, let's check out the platform nine and three quarters shop. I really like the cages. Even though I'm not a Gryffindor, I really like the sort of Gryffindor that was hung up on one of the walls. I really like the feeling you get when you walk into the shop. It's like you're actually in Ollivanders. Oh, look at how cute. Dad, look at this. You didn't know that was the end of the world. In the platform nine and three quarters shop, I got this platform nine and three quarters magnet, the ticket to board the train, a chocolate frog, in which I got Devin Whitehorn, and my very first Harry Potter wand. I decided to get Luna Lovegood's wand. I love Luna and this wand. I love the tulip looking flower at the end and how simple it is. Here are a few extra things I got, like this journal and a ruler. Wingardium Leviosa. Now that I've gotten all these cool things from the shop, let's go take a picture at the wall. There was a really long line at the platform nine and three quarters wall, but luckily it wasn't as long as it could get, which is hours long. When it was my turn, I chose the Hufflepuff scarf and Dumbledore's wand. A helper threw my scarf in the air to make it look as if I were running through the wall, which created the perfect photo I was really excited for. I haven't tried butterbeer before, so I was really excited. This specific butterbeer contains hibiscus, carrot, apple, pear juice, and ginger. So let's go down to the butterbeer bar, where after we take pictures and shop a little bit, we can go drink some butterbeer. In this shop, there were a bunch of wands, chocolate frogs, a bunch of candy, I really like the hoodies and pillows, and of course, I'm about to show you one of our favorite things that we got from the shop. We went down into the butterbeer bar that looked just like the one in the movie, and you even get to keep this cup. I kept the glass too. We got a table and we tried better beer for the first time. <laughs> okay. Butter beer was good and it was very sweet and tasted a lot like butterscotch. One of the coolest parts was this machine that you can use to clean your cup. Press it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 
I brought home the cup and the glass. This is what it looks like up close. We brought home one of our favorite characters from the Harry Potter books and movies, Dobby. Dobby's the family favorite. He's a house elf that serves the Malfoy family. He's wearing a pillowcase because if they gave him clothes, he would be a free elf. I just sewed him some shoes like the ones in the movie. Look at how big his belly is and his skin is so lifelike. It's cool how they gave him to us with his arms hanging out of the bag. They said he hoped he gets a good tan in Florida. In Harry Potter, we see Harry at London's most iconic bridges, including Tower Bridge, where we're going right now. When we were going on the Thames River, we saw Daniel Radcliffe's school, who played Harry Potter. This is an almost 600 years old all-boys school. By the way, many stars alongside Daniel Radcliffe finished at this school. Near this school is Millennium Bridge, where Harry fought Death Eaters, in Half-Blood Prince. When we got down from the bridge, there was a book market full of Harry Potter books. I was born in Hungary, so it was quite the coincidence when I opened one of the books right to Hungarian Horntail. The Hungarian Horntail is an aggressive species of dragon which Harry fights in Goblet of Fire. On the internet, you could find other Hungarian creatures from Harry Potter. It's so weird that in the Hungarian versions of Harry Potter, they give totally different names to everything. Like for example, Hogwarts is Roxford, and my house is Ugravug. I love that in London you could find a bunch of Harry Potter things, even in a stationery shop. Both the window display and the inside of the shop was full of Harry Potter stationery. It's definitely worth it to go to Europe's biggest luxury shop, Harrods. There's a ton of Harry Potter things to buy there. And even aside from that, this is a very beautiful shop. Wait, there's a Marauder's Map. This is the Marauder's Map given to Harry by Fred and George Weasley. This map allows you to see where everyone is at Hogwarts at all times. You know, you can use like, see how it's green? Ooh. And there's an app you install and then you're invisible. How much for that one? I'm guessing 50. This is the invisibility cloak from Harry Potter which you can actually use by downloading an app. This looks like Snape's one. Feel this. Feel it. Does it? Oh. Be careful with this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God. Number three, Okay, this costs a lot of money. Thank you. Now I'm going to show you what I got from Harrods. I got this Hufflepuff journal, which has really nice pages, and at the back, it's got a pocket, which I always put my Hogwarts ticket in. I'm going to write a lot in this journal.
Finally, let's go to our favorite place, which is the house of Mina Lima. This is a gallery and a shop brought to you by Mina Lima, who designed the art and graphics of Harry Potter. For example, the design of the platform nine and three quarters ticket was made by them. And of course, for the design of the chocolate frogs. We were amazed by the setup of the shop. We saw a lot of props, prints, and tapestry. One of my favorite parts was the wallpaper in the shop, which was the black family tree. And there were pictures of Eduardo Lima and Mirafora Mina, the two graphic designers. The floor had the Marauders map on it. They also designed the Butterbeer logo. The fireplace was my favorite part. It had letters flowing out of it, just like in Sorcerer's Stone. There was even a book anyone could sign and write cool messages in. I wrote Dobby is free and my name. Oh. Yeah, Which one is your your team? Well, if you want me to draw something, I can draw for you too. <laughs> so cute. Hello. Do you know where these Um, we do have a leaflet upstairs, like in front of the till. So you know all the dress. So this is a yeah. Yeah. This the jeans. Well, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, really. Our oh, donation to the team because very nice. We have a printed already inside. We just need to know if we have it in stock. Very good, very good. And this is the price for this? These are classics. This is the price, right? No, this is not the price. This is the number. So they are all limited to 200 pieces of print for the premium one. So this is the third one. So they don't have hand signature. This is a standard one. It doesn't have hand signature and logo following. They said that we can order meal for Florida. I hope you liked this video. This was one of the most amazing things that happened in my life. See you next time.